Hello, and welcome back to another demonstration video on how to use my Crojan Kit modular assets. These are the twin blades, which are very similar to the Battle Axe Kit and the one and two handed sword kits. Uh, <clears throat> in this case, I recommend a five centimeter grid snap for assembly, and I'll show you why in just a moment here. Again, you can grab any blade, any cross guard, any grip. There are two kinds of grips this time. And any shaft, drag them into the seam together. Deselect the grip with the remaining three pieces. Hold Alt and rotate the lower half of the blade into place, or the other side of the blade into place. <clears throat> you can see we've got fully assembled weapon right here. Now your next step here, you're going to want to merge the assets. Start with selecting the grip. This is very important so you maintain your pivot point. I'm going to grab the grip, shaft, cross guard, blade, shaft, cross guard, blade. Now we're going to go to tools, merge actors. In this particular case, I'm going to replace the source actors. Let's check off the box right behind me here and merge. And stick these with my twin blade kit, sample twin blades. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it TB sample 16 and save. We can see that this is now a single asset selected. And you still have the ability to change your materials to whatever you happen to like. Now uh, let's go with, uh, the default is silver and gold. I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. We're gonna go to gold and silver. There's just so you can see the difference here. I'm gonna duplicate this guy. And we'll change this one. Set this to gold and silver. So gold and silver grip. Gold and silver shaft. Gold and silver cross guard. Gold and silver blade. You can see how you can get a different look out of these things using the same assets. This gives us a lot of nice color variations. Now, with these, a lot of fun here. What did I use? I used blade four, so let's grab that again. Uh, I used cross guard ten, shaft. I want to say, sorry, grip twelve. I want to say. And shaft four. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Show you what else you can do. So you're not limited here. Now in this case, I'm going to rotate it in the other angle here. So instead of rotating around, I'm gonna rotate it down. And just to save a little bit of time here. I'm just gonna group these. I'm not gonna merge them this time. See that you get two different blades here. Uh oh. Okay. This kind, of, this way you can get a little bit of asymmetry going on. Possibly give you a different fighting style. to add a little bit more flavor. You don't have to use the same blade every time. You can use different ones. So let's go with this one, uh, that one, that guy. We we'll go with a long shaft this time. Sorry, a long grip. 
grab this one right here. Here's why I recommend the five centimeter snap. The length of the grip can change the overall length of the weapon. So I'm going to grab the deselect blade and the shaft here. I'm just gonna rotate. Oh no, I didn't do it that way. Delete this one. That gives us two different blades to work with. And here's where the five centimeter snap comes into play. When you put these together, the pivot points are all in the same spot. But in this case, with the long shape, uh, long grip, you can come out five centimeters to lengthen the entire thing. You don't want to use the 10 because that's what happens right there. together, group them, and come up with something asymmetric like so. Again, you've got full control over the materials that you want to put on here. So in this particular case, I'm going to ungroup this and grab these like so. These are the blades. We're going to go with the red and black. I like the red and black color. Same thing with the cross guards. Shaft. These ones, I'm not sure exactly how many this kit will make. I have no idea. It's a lot. It's well over four trillion possible variant combinations. So between not having to use the same blade, you also don't have to use the same shaft. You don't have to use the same cross guard. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's go with uh, this guy. Grab plate one, plate five, cross guard six and four, and we'll do different shafts as well. And drag all these into the scene at the same time. We'll deselect in this case, grip. One of the blades, one of the cross guards, one of the shafts, I don't know which one it is. That. And I'll rotate the rest of this around. We'll still do our five centimeter move. Move that up a bit. Start getting some really funky stuff going on here. The fun little kit. I really like this one. Uh, so here, we're gonna play around a little bit with the color. Do a silver and black blade. Then I'll do. It's gonna look kind of messed up, but go ahead and do it. I'll grab different colors for each piece. The red cross guard. Let's do a golden black. Why not? Golden black cross guard. 
Oh, golden silver crosshair. There we go. Do black and gold shaft. Then oh, red and silver shaft. No more slave group as we initially brought it in. Together. All right, so you can see real quickly, you can start building up an entire arsenal of unique weapons. All right, I think that'll do it for this demonstration. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need any help with the kit, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, uh, Mavis, number 1733, or you can catch me on Twitch live, and all the relevant links will be in the description below. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you next time.